Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, David M. coming at you here with a really quick vintage pickup video. Uh, so in the background, what we have here is the one and only Hank Aaron uh, with a couple of other legends. Uh, first of all, big shout out to my man, Vintage Card Steve, who hooked me up with this a few years ago. This is the um, Hank Aaron and Ernie Banks Power Plus card, one of my favorites. Uh, and then this other one here, a couple examples, one raw. Uh, which the centering is better on the raw, but the corners are rougher. Um, and then this one here that's slabbed, which the centering is really awful, but the corners are pretty nice. Anyway, that is the 1958 Topps uh, World Series batting foes of Hank Aaron and Mickey Mantle. The reason those are in the background uh, is to show you this first card, which is a card that uh, is from one of my all-time favorite sets, one of my all-time favorite cards. And of course, I'm always on the lookout for auction steals and this certainly was a steal let me move this out of the way and that is the 1973 tops hank aaron you know the centering's off a little bit but not enough that it bothers me at all uh, the corners are nice uh, to me just a beautiful example of this card sorry for the glare um but again got this or way under the going rate in an auction. Um, so thrilled to add this one in the nice tuxedo slab. Now, uh, the next card I'm gonna show you, you probably have never heard of this player. In fact, I had never heard of this player until very recently and had to pick this up. So uh, to make the story quick, my last name is Merriman, like the football player, Sean Merriman from back in the day. Well. Um, not a very common name. And I never heard of any Major League Baseball players who share my last name. And then a couple of weeks ago, a, uh, you know, one of the card companies sent me, a you know, one of their catalogs and I was just kind of thumbing through it. Well, sure enough, in the 1955 Bowman set, I saw my last name and I was like, whoa. So I looked up the card, looked up the player. And it was none other than this guy right here, Mr. Lloyd Merriman. The card itself is all beat to hell because, frankly, there's just not very many of them out there for sale because it is a common. Um, and it is, uh, again, it, it's really cool to me because I'd never heard of anybody with my last name playing in the majors. There actually is one other guy, Greg Merriman, I believe his name was, who pitched like one game or two, uh, was drafted by the Rockies in the expansion draft years ago, but he pitched like one game or something for some other team with a eight or nine ERA, and that was all she wrote. But uh, Lloyd Merriman here is actually um, in the Stanford Athletic Hall of Fame, played his college ball at Stanford, then went and served as a combat pilot in the Navy immediately after for a few years. Then played professionally, uh, ending his career. Um, he was the first with the Reds, ended his career with the White Sox, and then my Cubbies of all things, ironically. Uh, but this card here, he's on the White Sox from his last year. Um, but anyway, and after his short baseball career, he went back again and was a combat pilot in the Marines serving in Korea. So, Mr. Lloyd Merriman, maybe not the greatest uh, baseball player ever, but certainly a hero and a badass, if you ask me. So, really cool to add this one to the collection. I especially love that it just shows my last name, so I'm going to display that one, you know. But uh, to me, that was cool. And then, of course, the Hank, the beautiful Hank Aaron, it was such a great set, that 73 tops. Anyway, I just wanted to show those real quick. Hope everyone is doing well, and I will catch you next time.